Hello everybody. Welcome to Selenium Course channel. Today's topic is how to take screenshot in Selenium and how to take the screenshot of a failure test cases. For this, you require to know the basics of Selenium on how to identify the locators and how to initialize the browsers. And in test ng, what's the listener is? So to start with, I have created a project which is a Maven project and I am using TestNG as a testing framework so to run on test cases. So I have created one small class called screenshotexample.java. So here I have created a method verify login test. So I am using Firefox browser to execute so I have kept gecko driver. So this is in, I am using relative path for that, so it is in resources and then all the other things are quite common, implicit weight and opening the URL. Yeah, The application that I want to test is, I launch this demo.shopnizer and then type you admin and username and password here and click on login button. So it, it will return invalid username or password. So I'll take the screenshot of this page. For this, find element by ID, find element by ID and type username and password and click on form submit button. So it redirects or it gives you an uh, error message that I got that into a variable. I'm going to print that variable here into the console. This is up to now it's a straightforward thing. Then I want to take the screenshot of that page, right? So here it, the problem starts. In order to this state, in order to take the screenshot in Selenium, we need to use a method called get screenshot as in driver object. and it takes a output type parameter so you can give three kinds of outputs base64 bytes and file i'm using file so that you can store it into a physical file you can see the screenshot so when i give that output type as file so the return type is also become file it can store file object in this case, this is stored into JVM that I want to store into diff in my system. So I have to create one physical file. I give my class name as my file name so I'll change this to source in order to copy this source file into the destination you have different kinds of approaches file utils files copy each byte so I am taking files object and then copy method from source to destination this method is checked exception so i have to add throws or try catch i'm use try catch now if i run this program it going to store in as i've given a relative path in my home project home it is going to store so i'm deleting the existing files okay so i'm going to run this see this files is in gua jar it comes in automatically along with the selenium dependencies so you don't need to worry about that class so the test case got completed 
And if I go and check that, here it has been created. Verify login test. So it just takes the screenshot of the page only. It will not the, take the screenshot of your screen. Okay. Now, here I have one major problem. That is Firefox driver. Nobody will use a Firefox driver or Chrome driver as a reference because it does not support multi browser testing. So people will use web driver reference and then object of either Firefox driver or Chrome driver. So when when I use web driver reference, this web driver reference does not contain get screenshot as method in this interface there is no get screenshot as so as the reference does not contain that method so you are not able to call that method then where this get screenshot as method exist it is in an interface called take screenshot so we need to call this get screenshot as I have to create the object of take screenshot interface but this driver is bind or this browser is bind with the driver object so I need to convert this driver object or web driver reference to take screenshot reference how it works is if you see remote web driver Remote web driver implements web driver and take screenshot. So this is the class which implements web driver and take screenshot and Firefox driver or Chrome driver is the child of this remote web driver. When I have object of this class with this reference I am not able to call the methods inside this interface so what I need to do is I need to create another reference with this and then I can typecast this object to this reference so that I can call the methods inside in the take screenshot to do that, I am going to create a reference take screenshot t driver equals to driver object. You cannot directly assign this driver reference like this web driver reference to take screenshot. So, what you need to do is you need to typecast it then this driver object will be converted into take screenshot and it will store then from there you can call get screenshot as method This is how you have to write the code in order to take the screenshot on any browser. If I just change this Chrome driver, then it will take automatically for that browser also. Now, a common practice is people do not write it in two lines, they write it in a single line. So what they do is, they take this line and it returns this screen take screenshot object right on that object you need to call get screenshot as so for that then just use brackets and put dot operator so you can call this method and it returns this so it will be stored here Instead of having two lines, you can do it in a single line. 
this is the first problem so it is solved so when I use this type casting that problem is solved the second problem is when I run two to three times every time this will be overwrite it right the same file so for that instead of doing that I am adding a timestamp to this how to add timestamp I've just written one method get timestamp which returns a string in this format year month date hours minute seconds so this so when I run this program it is going to create verify login test underscore and with that timestamp like this here you have only one method one file it will be it will not override it creates another file with the timestamp 2018 5 26 today's date and today's time if I open Z it shows that image this is how you take the screenshot what point you have to remember is your driver reference is web driver it does not have get screenshot as method so you need to typecast your driver object into take screenshot and then you have to call the get screenshot as method if you pass file you have a files class to copy from source to destination okay and then the second scenario is taking the screenshot when the test case fails if the test case pass you don't need to take the screenshot I have written that example in screenshot fail test here what I have done is I have made the same code into different methods and before class test after class okay and then your driver object is a static driver object in order to get this driver object you have one method get driver instance method which returns driver object these are the static methods so you can use this class name and call these methods directly okay now the only additional thing that I have added here is assertion why assertion is added is if I want to make my test case fail this whatever you got here and then whatever you provide here should match so I am giving a wrong message so both will be compared and it's going to throw an error so then your test case gets failed when your test case gets failed it automatically has to take the screenshot so where should I add this code for that testing has a concept called listeners so what listeners does is whenever an event occurred in your test case or in your test class your listener can perform some other some action there what is an event here when you run this program or when you run this test case test case starts first that is an event so that uh, your listener will perform some corresponding action in background your test case is completed test case is pass or successful then your listener will perform an action internally and in case if the test case gets failed your listener will call a different action like that these actions are defined inside the listener so how do you define a listener in test ng if you want to define a listener you have to create a new class and that class should implement itestListener interface 
So for that I have done this custom listener is the class which implements ITS listener. Whatever the ITS listeners has, you need to provide the implementations here for all abstract methods. So on finish, on start, on test failure, on test skipped, on test start, on test success. These are the methods that we have here. So I was worried about on test failure. So whenever my test case gets failed, this method is going to trigger. So I have written my code which takes the screenshot in this method. So I cannot directly write my whatever the code that I have written here. I cannot copy paste it because it required driver object and it required get timestamp. So for that I have written a reusable method which is called as take screenshot in a class webdriver utils. Take screenshot. It takes two parameters. One is driver, another one is test case name. Why I'm not why am I why I'm pausing test case name as a parameter is it can be called for any test case. So you cannot hard code the test case here. Okay. So the same code that I have used here. So only thing is test case name I have used instead of hard coded uh, file name. And then instead of writing the get timestamp here in webdriver utils, I have created another class automation utils. There I have kept this timestamp. Why I have segregated is all webdriver related reusable functionality I will write it here. All common reusable functionalities I will write it here. So that's why I have differentiated. So this custom listener is going to call take screenshot method which is inside webdriver utils by passing the driver object that I got through this method static method which returns this driver instance and then this argument does have the details of on which test case that all these things has performing. So for with this, I'm call, calling get method and get method name. So it, it will return the method name. So this is how you need to configure your custom listener. Then if I want to run this program, I need to make sure that this class is listening your custom listener or your custom listener is listening on this class. In order to implement that, I need to add one annotation which is called as listeners. Listeners and then I need to provide on which class this this is dot class. So when I run this program now, what I'm going to get is if my test case gets failed, then only it's going to create the screenshot. If my test case is gets passed, it is not going to create the screenshot. So I have provided this code in GitHub. So I'll give I'll share the GitHub link in description. Please check that. If you have any questions, ping me in the comments. I'll try to re respond as early as possible. So if I go and see, it is created one screenshot. So at 149. Now, this is valid expected message. So I am going to run now. So it should not create any screenshot now because my test case is past scenario. Okay, see the test case completed, the test case has uh, screenshot is not created. So thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, ping me in the comment section, I will respond.